A healthy coral reef looks like this, but corals are sensitive, and with water temperatures soaring in South Florida, researchers are worried this will happen. See those white areas? That's called coral bleaching. So right now we're on track for corals to bleach this summer and bleach for a longer period than they've ever bleached before, which will likely lead to high levels of coral mortality. How worried are you about the fate of the coral reefs in Florida right now? Very worried. Well, it's really concerning because these high temperatures are, are just one more stressor on top of all of the other stressors that our, our reefs here uh, face in Florida. Coral researcher Dr. Abigail Renegar showed us the specimens they're raising at Nova Southeastern University, which go from these tanks to the reefs of Broward County. But right now, they've halted the coral planting effort because the water is just too hot. Divers are recording temperatures in the high 80s, as deep as 70 feet. And combined with stony coral tissue disease, which you can see here, and pollution, Florida reefs keep taking punches, wave after wave. Bill Precht has been studying corals for 45 years. It's a very grim forecast, and someone asked me just the other day, well, what can we do about it now? And right now, today, there's nothing we can do about it. This team is studying pollutants that are dangerous to corals, and through genetic engineering, researchers are developing corals which can tolerate higher water temperatures. They are, but the question is, how many, and how can they scale that up? And that's the question for the future. But the question for the summer of 2023 is, how bad is it going to get? So how bad will the hit be to ecotourism and the fishing industry, which depend on healthy reefs? It's a one, two, three punch that is devastating, both ecologically and economically. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.